This is a video overview of the Realm Crafter in-game mailbox slash messaging system. I'm the creator of this script and I just want to give you a detailed uh, explanation of the uh, solution basically for in-game messaging. Uh, it all started out by me just browsing around. I've been a member of the RC community for uh, four or even more years now. And I, I just assume that there is a, a permanent in-game solution for, uh, or there was an in-game solution for permanent messaging. Uh, I was uh, shocked. Well, I was basically floored to find out after researching, asking around, asking uh, staff members that there is no in-game messaging system for Realm Crafter. Uh, that uh, kind of blows my mind because in today's MMOs, it's it's basically standard that there is some sort of in-game messaging system. I think every player comes to assume that uh, since it's been that way uh, since the beginning of the old school MMORPGs, basically. Uh, so I set out, I made a solution. I currently am not even making an MMORPG. So the solution is literally for the Realm Crafter community. I uh, worked hard at making it generalized, and I worked even harder at making it easy. Uh, the installation is ridiculously easy. Uh, it requires you to do one thing, and it does everything else itself. It handles everything itself. It's uh, self-maintaining. So yeah, let's get to it. Uh, here we go. There is the home screen. This is what the user will see when they right-click on the mailbox, or whatever you set it to. Here you will see the... Uh, Mailbox home, there's a title. Uh, there's a little generic welcome message. And of course, I want to mention too, all this text you see uh, in the dialog box is very, very easily changeable. You can open up whatever script editor you use, even uh, the Realm Crafter uh, default script IDE, and edit this text. It's real easy. Uh, I might, I'll even make a tutorial if you guys want me to. Uh, it's, it's real easy to do that. Uh, from here, you have three options you can go to. You can read the mail, send the mail, exit. Uh, the navigation, as you will see, is uh, very clean, very crisp, uh, very uh, natural. So let's read messages. Uh, we'll mention it down here. There's the home and then there's the exit. But the messages display uh, your latest five messages. They display from the top as the newest and then go down. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you can just you can see the uh, sender. Uh, followed by the uh, colon, and then you can see the uh, preview of the message. So right here, uh, from Cindy the Priest, uh, the message is, the guild bank is running, and then there is dot dot dot. So let's open it up, see what she says. The guild bank is running low on shards again, so please farm some before the raid. Thanks. Uh, you can, of course, this is very, very useful for guilds. Uh, they can send permanent messages when people are offline. Uh, you, there's no need for out-of-game messaging systems. Uh, when it comes to text and me yeah, just messaging in general, mailboxes, which can really draw users away from your game. All right, let's go back. Uh, dot 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 uh, back. So you can just go through if something seems important. You can just click on it. Uh, Jim Kramer. Don't forget to sell out if it hits the second resistance today. Okay, so you know maybe you have a real life buddy. Uh, he just joins the game and you know he wants to give you some stock advice. You can do that. Uh, uh, of course, Jim Kramer did not send me this mail. This is all generated by me to show you examples, but uh, you get it. And once again, I'll go back to the. Uh, easy control flow here. There is the reply, back, and exit. Very simple and uh, very self-explanatory. So let's go back. Uh, let's go to the home. And uh, well, first off, let's go to the read mail feature. I'm going to clear it out, uh, make it fresh as if it was a fresh install. So I'm going to go to the right here database. One second. Let's go back to the read mail. Default, it comes all empty. Of course, there are no users. And this is a uh, world that I just created for this example. So let's go back home. We are now back on the home screen. Uh, we will be visiting the read mail uh, soon. But first, let's go over the sent mail. Uh, you might not be able to see it on the video, but it shows up perfectly fine in the window in the game. I'll read it off to you. Uh, please fill in all fields. You can cancel at the end. It's highlighted in red. Uh, once again, it's easy to change that color, but uh, I, I chose red because it's very, uh, it's clear. It's showing the user to, hey, look at this, and if someone's not sure what to do, they're probably going to look at the red text. So they see, oh yeah, let me just enter something I can cancel at the end. But anyway, uh, here's the recipient too. Really self-explanatory. Uh, since I am the only person on the server, I just created this server to test and make this video. 
I will enter my uh, own character's name and you can enter any case so it's very forgiving in that respect uh, as you see I have capitals and lowercase I will hit accept and then it brings up another prompt it says uh, message or note both uh, pretty self-explanatory I could enter anything it just says uh, hey this is a message mate okay uh, let's just hit accept Okay, we'll just ask you again, are you sure you want to send the message? This time it's in orange. Uh, I put this here because in some games, I'm sure there are people that might want to charge uh, currency, copper, whatever the case. So this is a really good point to put that. And also, too, it's always nice to check to make sure a user really does want to send a message in case they did hit enter or accept or send or whatever the case early. Uh, in this case, we do want to send it. And then another message pops up. It says message sent. Then giving the uh, it cancels out these two options, and then it just allows the user to press one of these two. But the uh, greet message uh, is reaffirming. It shows that the message was sent. Uh, let's go back home. Let's go to the read mail. And as you can see right here, hey, this is a message. And then it's cut off because it only lets so many characters. It's like a preview. And two, you might be wondering why it's at the bottom. Uh, well, it's empty. Until you get five messages, uh, the new messages will go up one at a time. But once you get more than five messages, the new ones will always display latest at the top and then down. Just to confirm any uh, questions you might have about that. So uh, let's click on it. And here it says Juicer, and this is why I came back to the uh, read mail feature, because the uh, reply. And when you hit reply, it brings up that familiar send screen. Uh, this time there is no uh, to message. Uh, it just has the uh, message because it automatically fills out who it's sending to. So it's really convenient in that respect. And like I said, it brings up the uh, same screen that the user is already used to for the sending. So it's really uh, notice. It's really uh, recognizable. I can just send to any message. Uh, I'm replying to myself. Arr, arr, arr. Accept. Once again, it asks me if I want to send. Send. It tells me it was sent. We can go back home, read our mail, and uh, yep, there you go. And once again, like I said, to uh, this will uh, populate the newest at the top, and it'll go up, and it'll look real good once there's at least five there. But as you see, uh, it's already put the newest one at the top right there. All right, let's go back home. You might be wondering what happens uh, if, uh, let's just say, there's many things that could go wrong, but one of the most common are uh, when you type to someone that doesn't exist. Someone that doesn't exist would be virtually, well, would be anyway, because I'm the only one in this server, but uh, let's just say Miss USA. I uh, hit accept. Okay, the message window pops up. It's okay. Uh, I'll just type a message. Hey, message. Okay, hit accept sure you want to send yes I want to send oh no message failed and it brings up this yellow basically warning saying that the message failed uh, the message can fail for a few reasons but I keep it generic that way it doesn't uh, overwhelm the user with any error messages but uh, you could easily track it yourself if you want to all right uh, my message was failed. let's just go back home and uh, from there that's that's basically it uh, like I said there's really smooth uh, navigation and all two uh, the empties have of course nothing uh, if you reply to them you'll get the same message failed error and I think the uh, layout uh, the general flow I am uh, obviously not uh, anywhere near a graphic designer I am a programmer but I do feel like uh, the general flow here is real nice uh, it seems very natural very user-friendly very uh, predictable which is what you want uh, in a feature like this and uh, you know it's colored but what I'm getting at is uh, this is very uh, generic in its uh, way but yet polished and I think that's what people want and like I said it's really easy to install you need literally no no scripting expertise and if you want to go in and edit the messages once again you really don't need to know how scripting works you can just go edit the messages and have whatever you want on there uh, so you know navigation go back go home uh, you can exit you know you can exit anywhere actually and that's it uh, uh, if you have any questions feel free to contact me on the board uh, the Brown crafter boards my uh, name is sergeant on the boards you can also contact me by going to uh, my site codejustin.com and I would just like to uh, wish everyone good luck with your uh, MMORPG projects. Uh, it is a lot of work, and I hope that uh, if you're looking for an in-game solution, which uh, I think a lot of people are, I hope you choose this one.